we're delighted to be able to be conducting a randomized clinical trial on uterine fibroids. Um, traditionally, uh, doctors have always recommended particular treatments based on their own experience and really haven't had any evidence to help women decide what is best for them. So this trial uh, compares two major fibroid treatments. One is called uterine artery embolization. The other is called MR-guided focused ultrasound. Uh, the, the treatments work in different ways and we're going to be studying over 200 women and looking to compare what makes women succeed with one therapy versus the other. Um, the uterine artery embolization treatment is a minimally invasive treatment. Uh, women uh, are in the hospital overnight and go home the next day. Um, and there's a small incision made that um, the doctors use to control the blood supply of the fibroids. With focused ultrasound instead, um, there is no incision and the women are able to go home uh, that same day. But we don't know whether the treatments are equally effective. And this trial is designed to find that out. With focused ultrasound, you treat each fibroid individually. And with uterine artery embolization, you treat all the fibroids at once. So we're going to be following women and finding out what their symptoms are before treatment and what symptoms improve most, um, and alternately, what symptoms don't improve at all following treatment. It's also important for this trial that we see um, a diverse group of women. We're uh, looking specifically to make certain we study African-American women uh, because uh, studies tell us that they are the women that are most likely to have fibroids and the women most likely to have severe symptoms due to their fibroids. Uh, so this is a really important goal of our trial. Both treatments are approved by the Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of uterine fibroids, so the therapy itself is not investigational. They're standard fibroid treatments. Um, and we're comparing them, uh, looking at women that would be eligible for either treatment. So um, it's a different kind of concept to say, I'm eligible for either treatment and I'm going to um, allow the study to decide which one I'm going to undergo. Uh, but randomized clinical trials have been done for heart disease and for cancer and for all kinds of therapies and they're just now being applied for uterine fibroids. Uh, the National Institutes of Health is funding the trial and uh, we're going to be uh, studying women prior to treatment and then following them up after treatment to find out about complications, about side effects, and uh, most importantly, how their fibroid symptoms respond to treatment. We have two sites uh, for a study. Uh, the major site is at Mayo Clinic, uh, but we also have a site in North Carolina at Duke University. And the way the study is set up, uh, you don't have to live locally to be able to participate. We've been able to screen women who are coming from distant locations, have them come in for treatment, and then since most of the follow-up uh, takes place using uh, symptom diaries and questionnaires, even if women live a long distance from these two sites, they may be eligible to participate.